sap apes and a little cheeky wire up and then I'm gonna take you around. Now this is most probably the most complicated one out of the three. But once you got your way around it, it's not really that complicated. And I will show you what got me stuck for a good while on this. So that's why I wanted to make these videos. As I've said before, I've got a con I've got a common 24 going down to S3, S32, and that's my reset automatic. But you that's where you would normally wire in your normally open button or switch there. So as we can see there's quite a few cables to this but this is because this is quite an intelligent beer kit and these have got interlay indicator lights on the actual switch itself showing you what the status is so we've got a safety gate so if this opens once we lose this switch that'll come off and then if we have a fault or power fault then we've got power or fault led showing us on the actual switch itself now as we can see i'm just going to go through the cable so this time around we've got to give power to the inner workings of the switch itself, the encoded mag switch. So we've got our blue coming down onto the zero volts up there and then I've got the brown going up to the A1 which is the common 24. And then because of this it's got electronics inside, I can't have the short circuit protection. So I've got to put both of my outputs on the uh, channel 1. And then, but what we do have is we still have the two channels. So I've got my yellow and green coming back on channel one and two. And it doesn't matter if, if I split one of these two, I still lose channel one and two. The red and black, they're diagnostic. That's one for your PLCs, kind of showing it on the HMI kind of outputs. So this is where I'm showing that uh, I've got on one channel one and two outputs coming out on one that's all to do with electronics inside they've got transistors and kind of a lot of witchcraft going on in there and if you want i could go for a bit more but i still have channel one and two coming back and they will break so if i was to take one of them out on the actual relay it would fall so what i'm seeing, showing you now is if i take that mag away i am showing open gate and I have lost channel one and two. And that won't reset until I've put it back. And as you can see, the indicator lights on both sides are showing a healthy state now. So here comes my old Parsi sausage of a thumb, showing you that's where you'd put your reset button. Now if this has helped someone, that's literally proved.